I'm here at St James's Park with the Hereford manager Paul Caddis. Obviously not in the technical area today, but what did you make of Hereford's performance today? Uh, I'm really disappointed. I thought that in between both boxes were okay, but you win games in 36 yards of football and weren't anywhere near good enough in our own box and I don't think we had a shot on target, which is really, really poor. We had uh, two strikers. We went quite, quite attacking with two strikers. We had... Uh, Babs who's uh, scored a lot of goals and a lot of assists and we're, we're disappointed. We are. We can keep the ball for three or four minutes at a time but if you're not going to affect the game then what's the point? Uh, so I'm really, really, again that word, I'm disappointed, I'm upset, I'm, I'm angry, the players are angry but... Uh, yeah, not a great afternoon. It just seems a bit subdued to me. There doesn't seem to be a spark. You've got, you know, wide players available. Um, it just didn't get out to them quickly enough. Yeah, and you know what? I, I'll look at myself. Maybe me not being on the side didn't help. Uh, maybe I've got to be on the side to try and drive the players. So that's something I need to, need to learn and I'll take responsibility for that. But, yeah, I totally agree. I thought we, we lacked a little bit of urgency. Uh, we knew that Brackley would go back to a back five. We watched a lot of them. They've they done the same with, with Charlie at home. They don't create loads of chances, but they keep a lot of clean sheets and they're brilliant at defending their box, and, and that's what they've done. And we, it's frustrating because we we send the messages before the game to try and try and get it to sink into the players that what their strengths are and stuff like that. And sometimes in football you can't legislate for everything it's it's difficult times but we we warned the lads that Roberts will try and shoot on site uh, which he did they get their first goal but did the causes too many problems no I don't think they genuinely did but weirdly they, they much deserve to win the game I just thought that we we lacked a bit of urgency I thought we, we sort of run out of ideas I think in the final third which is something I'll take on board uh, Again, I'm positive. I thought Judd was our most lively player, 19 years, years of age, got a brilliant future ahead of himself and we've got to recognise that arguably he's our best player at times. Get him on the ball. Try and do everything you can to get him on the ball. And, and if you get him on it and people double up on him, then where's the space in the pitch? Because somebody else is doubling up on him, so let's find the spaces. So, uh, yeah, disappointed, but uh, trying, to, trying to keep the positive mentality there that if you'd asked me at the start of the season, if six games to go, if we... To be honest, probably need to win four of them. Uh, 70 points to see who gets you there. We need four wins, but uh, I'd have bit your hand off for it. I genuinely would have. You'd look at the next three fixtures as, as games that you, know, you could win. And you've got to look at it positively and you're back at Edgar Street to you know, seize the initiative. Yeah, back at home uh, against a, a really difficult Farsley side. So we've got to, got to try and take care of that. We, we, need to go and, we need to go and win the game. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and try and dress it up. We need to go and win, win, win the game. I'd rather, again, I said that I think it was after Peterborough or whenever it was, I'd rather be rubbish for the next six games and get results. We're at the business end. I'm still learning. I'm still a new manager. The, the, we've got a new dressing room, but I just told the players, I had a brilliant career. I love my career, but it goes away in the blink of an eye. Like, you've got an opportunity. Let's go and at least embrace it as much as we possibly can. And I just felt today wasn't through a lack of effort, it was just a, a lack of urgency. I thought maybe we, we looked a bit tired, poss possibly. Maybe, again, I'll take responsibility. Maybe it's a, a thin squad, but that's what we've got. What's the situation with Paul Downing? Because he came off. Was it, did he turn? Because there's a big chunk come out of the pitch. I wondered if he turned something, sort of twisted something. Uh, I think he's felt his hamstring. I've not spoken to him, to be honest. Uh, I've, not, I've been concentrating on other things. Uh, I think he's felt his hamstring, which is just disappointed because it's... It's happened quite a lot now, and, and obviously PD will be disappointed as well. As well. Uh, but positively, Tope Up a Day surprised everybody in your team selection uh, available in the squad, so good to see him back. Yeah, he's only trained once, hence why he got 10 minutes. I didn't want to want to risk him too much, but he's, it's one of the first things, I'll be honest, one of the first things I said when I come into the dressing room, Topi comes on and he moans at Huddy for 15 minutes in a positive way. Huddy, I need the ball quicker. Huddy, give us more urgency. Kills, where are you? And that's an experienced player. We need more of that. I think at times we're, we're a group of brilliant, brilliant guys. We really are. It's a brilliant dressing room. But sometimes you've got to, you've got to fall out. You've got to, it's got to hurt. Uh, so, Topi's a, a positive for us to come to come back. An experienced player. He'd been in this situation. So, even myself to lean on guys like that that, that have been in this situation. Runs was here last year at Brathley and 
made playoffs and knows what it takes. So uh, we've got lads in there with experience. We've got youthfulness. We've got we've got a mix of everything. It's just uh, try to find that blend now with six games to go. So maybe it's really guns blazing next week. Got to go for it. And you've got maybe a bidet with the experience on one flank and you know youngster Jid on the other. Yeah, we've got to go for it. We. Uh, we tried to pick a team to obviously we see Subban out, we went back to the three, but we've been solid in the three. Our, our, our results across the season in a three have been really, really good. Uh, so and it's an opportunity to get two strikers on the pitch, but next week we've got to we've got to come out, we've got to come out the traps, we've got to maintain it for as long as we possibly can. But we'll, uh, the support again has been been absolutely magnificent. We'll need them. Uh, again, if we can try and repay what, what they're giving us, then then we'll that's, that's the aim. The aim is to try and repay the support. They've, they've came in the numbers today again. There's no negativity. They're right behind the team. Uh, I think they recognise it. Listen, they're not silly. They're, they're clever. They're, they're clued up. They recognise the challenge in front of us. But uh, it's important that they're, they're there with us, and, and they are, and, and we appreciate that. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you.